Hi everyone. Each week in my public classes in San Francisco and Marin, we focus for the entire week on a specific action or a specific direction that the body moves in. This is my favorite way of teaching because it gives students the entire week to really integrate these actions into their body if they come to class multiple times. This week our focus has been on opening the hips to create ease in our forward folds or forward bending. Often we think it's just about stretching the hamstrings, but actually it's not. It's about opening up the central core of the body, releasing the hips, creating space in the lower back to fold more freely with ease. Then the hamstrings will respond to that and begin to release gradually. The key action we're going to look at today is to fold from a place where the pelvis is in neutral. And we're going to look at the two ways in which we go out of alignment and learn how to stay in neutral as we forward fold. So what the pose we're going to practice is Prasarita Padottanasana, widespread forward fold. So you're going to come onto your mat. You might watch, you might take a look at first and then do it afterwards. Okay? So you come onto your mat and you take your feet wide. Now the two ways in which we go wrong with this pose is number one, first we tend to lock the knees. When we lock out our knees, then everything starts to sway back onto the heels. And then we tend to round or hunch the back and we come down like this. So it tends to look something like this, where the weight is sway back on the heels and then we're bending more from the spine. When we do that over and over again, that can actually cause damage in the discs and the vertebrae and is really not recommended at all. So if you're doing it that way, better not to do it at all, okay? The other way we tend to do it is we overarch in the back. Those of us who are very mobile, like with very stretchy hamstrings, then we tend to overarch and it can look something like this where the ribs lay out, okay? And then we're creating such a big arch that we don't have any power and then we tend to overstretch the hamstrings. You might not feel it in the moment, but if you do that over and over again, that's how you injure the hamstring and it takes a long time to heal. That was my story. I injured my hamstrings long ago and it was only when I first learned how to practice this properly that I started to heal them and create tremendous strength and support. So as you come into your forward fold, the first thing you're going to do is unlock your knees. So the way that we do that, once your feet are parallel, is to press the top of your shin bones forward. Now as you press the top of the shin bones forward, it feels like you're unlocking your knees. And then to fold forward, you press more from the top of your thighs going back. As you come forward, you want to keep a neutral pelvis, which means there's a slight concave curve in your lower back. It's not overarched and it's not rounded. So we'll bring the hands onto the hips, draw the shoulders back, keep the shins pressing forward, the thighs back, lift the chest, and keeping hands on the hips, come forward very slowly. Really pay attention to not locking your knees on the way down keeping the small curve in your lower back so that you're not overdoing and overstretching. You're going to find that there's so much more support and power as you come all the way down. Now you can bring your fingertips to the floor and continue to fall this way if you feel you've got that. If that's too much, bring your hands onto blocks, come up onto the fingertips, and lengthen your spine forward, just working here, still making your priority your neutral spine. Okay? Not overarching or rounding. Then over time, as you get stronger, you'll be able to go deeper. Then bring both hands back to the hips, keeping the neutral spine, push down through your legs, and come up. Bring your feet slowly back together. 
So I hope that was helpful for you, that you were able to pinpoint what your specific needs are, because that's really the most important thing in the practice, is to get to know our body and what we need. We're all different, we all have slightly different needs. So I hope that was helpful. I will look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.